Hello everyone, it's been a minute guys. Today I'll be making a quick tutorial on how to DIY a 360 lace for ventilation. So I have my lace all set and a lot of you have been wondering what kind of lace I make use of. The lace is soft and it has tiny holes. It's a bit stretchy and it blends well with my skin tone. So all I'll be needing to make this 360 lace is a brown thread that matches well with my lace. A small needle, a tape that I can use in measuring the head circumference of my mannequin. My measurement here is 21 inches, but I'll be making use of 22 inches. You can use an eyebrow pencil or a concealer, okay? Now I'm making the measurement for the head circumference, 22 inches. And lastly, I forgot to make mention of the scissors yeah very important <laughs> let me set this up properly so you guys can see my measurements clearly uh, I'll be leaving a space in front because it's a 13 by 4 measurement that we will be using in front but then I'll add it up a bit like an extra inches for all my rough work but at the end of the day I will be making use of just four inches so I'll go ahead to cut off the SS lace that I have on every side and then I'll set them aside do make sure the lines you marked on both sides are well placed together before you cut off the sides of your lace you guys remember the video up here that I uploaded on how to DIY a 13 by 4 lace frontal where my measurements were in inches but then i kept on saying centimeters <laughs> well thanks to everyone who corrected me those that went to my inbox and my viewers and subscribers <laughs> thank you so much those uh measurements were are supposed to be in inches not in centimeters okay So just from the top where I marked that line, I will set my tape and I will measure one and a half inches just before the line beneath. I will make little cuts just past the line I marked beneath. Okay, just a little cut. I didn't go in with too much. And then I'm folding each side inwards to the line I marked. Just like that, inwards. I fold both sides inwards. So, I will join both sides, I fold it together and then I'll sew it down with my little needle and thread.
you can also sew this down with a sewing machine if you have one but i'm using the small needle to sew this down because it's a diy work well that's by the way once you're done sewing all of that you want to make sure your lace is well placed okay so i'm folding both ends together equally so i can cut off the other side of the lace so while i'm cutting the other side of the lace i'm stopping just at the part where i gave that little cut Also giving the top lace a little cut also so it will serve as the front part these cuts are for both ears so it fits properly once I'm done with all of my measurements I will go ahead to cut off my thread as I'll be showing you guys how this 360 lace looks on my head. So this is it, both sides that we cut off on both sides. And that's the SS lace in front of my face. So I'll just um, make use of my eyebrow pencil to mark the line in front where I'm going to stop. My ventilation if that makes any sense <laughs> of course it does now this is the part where I drew the line on my forehead and I'm going to measure in this so we know how many inches it is so remember I said we'll be making a 13 by 4 and this is it by 4 okay and this is going to serve as the back part so just in order for me not to um, have a mix up with the front part and the back part so I'll just go ahead to give this a curve at the back so I will know this is the back part and then this is the front part. Okay? So you guys should stay tuned as I'll be uploading my next video on how to ventilate a 360 lace wig. And do stick around with me by clicking on any of this video right here and subscribing to my channel if it was helpful. And give this video a like. Okay? And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!